Jehudi, the Egyptian god of writing, science, math, and measuring time, was known by the epithets, the one who made calculations concerning the heavens, the stars, and the earth, the reckoner of time and of seasons, and, the one who measured out the heavens and planned the earth. Egyptian mythology credits Jehudi with the creation of the 365-day calendar. Originally, according to the myth, the year was only 360 days long. Jehudi gambled with the moon and won one seventy-second of the moon's light, where 360 divided by 72 equals the five additional days. The ancient Egyptian civil calendar was a solar calendar with a 365-day year. The year consisted of three seasons of 120 days each. The three seasons were, 1, the flooding season, 2, the growing season, and 3, the harvest season. Each season had four months with 30 days. The additional five epigominal days were tacked onto the end of the harvest season, as in an intercalary month, outside of the proper year. New Year's Day on the ancient Egyptian calendar began in midsummer. New Year's Day was signaled by the annual flooding of the Nile and the annual heliacal rising of the star Sirius, when the star Sirius could be observed on the eastern horizon just before dawn. Heliacal rising is when a star first becomes visible, above the eastern horizon at dawn before sunrise in a calendar year. This is where the cultural significance of the morning star comes from. The ancient Egyptians actually recognized 48 significant star constellations, which are depicted on the astronomical ceiling at the Temple of Dendera. At the center of the figure, there are the 12 star constellations of the zodiac, which are the star constellations that the sun passes as it moves across the celestial sphere from the perspective of an observer on Earth, over the course of a year. This path of the sun throughout the course of a year is called the ecliptic. Then on the outside of the figure, there are 36 additional star constellations called the decans. In ancient Egypt, the decans are 36 groups of stars, small constellations, used in ancient Egyptian astronomy to conveniently divide the 360-degree ecliptic into 36 parts of 10 degrees each. The decans each appeared geocentrically, to rise consecutively on the horizon throughout each daily Earth rotation. The 36 decans include other commonly known constellations that are not a part of the zodiac such as Orion, Canis Major, Draco, the Big Dipper, and the Little Dipper, just to name a few. In ancient Egyptian astromythology, a different netter ruled each decan. The ancient Egyptians used the decans as a sidereal star clock. The decans allowed the ancient Egyptians to tell time at night, because the decans rise 40 minutes later each night. Every 10 days, a new decan star group reappears in the eastern sky at dawn, right before the sun rises. These predictable heliacal reappearances of the Deccan stars were eventually used by the ancient Egyptians to mark the divisions of their annual solar calendar. The 36 Deccans in ancient Egypt gave way to a lunar division of 28 lunar stations, also known as lunar houses, mansions of the moon, or manzils in Islam. The mansions of the moon refer to a segment of the ecliptic through which the moon passes in its orbit around the Earth. The twelve primary constellations on the ecliptic are divided into 28 segments relative to the vernal equinox point. The moon's position is charted with respect to those fixed segments. The moon's position at any given stage will vary according to Earth's position in its own orbit. The new moon is sighted to move through 28 distinct mansions of the moon, during the normal solar year, with each mansion of the moon lasting on average 13 days. Mansions of the moon are an effective system for keeping track of the passage of seasons, and the concept was used by several ancient cultures as part of their calendrical system. Just like in the ancient Egyptian system where a different netter ruled each of the 36 decans, in the Arabic system, a different angel was assigned as ruling each mansion of the moon, which is yet another parallel between the ancient Egyptian religion associated with Jehudi and the religion of Islam. In modern science, the International Astronomical Union recognizes 88 total star constellations.